uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are back doing match previews. Premier League is back. International days are over. International football, man, they suck. The lads, the lads must give it all. They must. And um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not entirely feeling too positive about this match, man. This Aston Villa team. Could be a bit of a banana skin for us at Stamford Bridge. All right, all right, all right. Here we go back again on the other side of the coin. All right, welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. Chelsea versus Aston Villa at Stamford Bridge. I believe it's, um, you know, the blockbuster matchup between 10th versus 11th. I mean, if Aston Villa gets a win, um, then then they potentially go in front of us. So this is this is a huge this is a huge tenth versus eleven derby, and uh, we better take it seriously. Honestly, uh, as as Grand Potter would say, the lads, you know, they have to give it their all. They must give it their all, and. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm actually quite worried about this match because this Aston Villa team under Una Emery, good evening, good evening, do you know what I mean? Like, they could do a bit of a madness on us. Last time we played Aston Villa, do you know what? We got away with some individual performances. Mason Mount, obviously, with two goals. Last time, Mason Mount was very, very good. Um, very nice free kick goal and another very uh, opportunistic goal uh, in, in the beginning where he pressed well. And we were saved by Kepa. I still remember Kepa kept us in the kept us uh, in the game. And Aston Villa throughout that match deserved a lot more. Um, and 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 we were lucky enough to just stick that particular match out and do well. Look, before we talk more about this particular game um, and then what it means, the implications of it, let's just go through some of the latest news. First up, what is circulating? Of the look, I, I didn't watch the press conference. I don't know about you guys. I don't watch any of these Grand Potter press conferences doesn't it doesn't fill me with a lot of joy it doesn't fill me with any enthusiasm and in all honesty from the quotes that I've seen uh, coming out from the press conference there's not really much to talk about uh, from from the press conference besides the team news which we'll touch on but these are some of the things that's circulating around Chelsea do not want Anthony Barry giving away Grand Potter secrets ahead of a potential Champions League semi-final with Bayern first of all where do we even start with this particular comment this notion the fact that we are so cocky that yeah we're going to get through Real Madrid quite easily and we're going to face Bayern Munich Bayern Munich is going to get through Man City and then and, and meet us like we need to calm ourselves down first in regards to that I hope we can beat Real Madrid of course I do and then on top of that Grand Potter secrets <laughs> What secrets are we talking about? The 61st minute substitution of Conor Gallagher to shut up shop. I think we all know that secret. Everyone knows that secret. My grandma, who doesn't even follow football, knows that secret. A blind man stuck in the basement knows that particular secret. Look, there is no secret. It's very straightforward. Three at the back, wing back football for the time being, double pivot, inside forwards, and Kai have it tough front because there is no other striker available for Champions League. And Thomas Tuchel, what what would he what would he not know about Chelsea Football Club? Uh, this guy was our manager literally not the, not that long ago. Anthony Barry, if anything, don't provide any information like that would probably affect uh, you know Bayern Munich. So there is there is no secrets, man. Like. <laughs> I, I'm not really sure what what this whole situation, uh, you know, is. I, I think Anthony Barry is moving on. I, I, I don't understand why he's still around. I don't get why this is an official as yet. But Nazar Kinsella, I'm not really sure whether he, if he's making up all of this stuff, secrets. Um, you let me know, ladies and gentlemen, in the comment section. Let me know what secrets, what secrets are we talking about? Am I missing something? Some sort of magic philosophy that Grand Potter you know, is waiting to deliver once Anthony Barry moves on because he's so certain that we're going to go through against Real Madrid and meet Bayern Munich in the semifinals of the Champions League. I hope it happens, but um, I've not seen any secrets as yet. Grand Potter says Chelsea have discussed with Bayern about delaying the Anthony Barry move until after a potential semifinal with them. Once again, potential semifinal delay. 
look, we are hoping for a lot of things over here to come to, uh, you know, come into um, fruition. But if it was me, I'd get rid of Anthony Barry right now. He wants to leave. He wants to leave. As soon as he found out that Thomas Tuchel wants him, which wasn't during the press conference, like many people think, you know, Thomas Tuchel's initial press conference with Bayern Munich, how he was public about Anthony Barry. No, Anthony Barry knew about this well before that, when when Thomas Tuchel was getting hired, in the process of getting hired. I'm pretty sure Bayern would have asked him, what staff would you like to come into Bayern Munich? And Thomas Tuchel would have said, I'd like this, 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 and Anthony Barry. You think he did all of this without talking to Anthony Barry for, firsthand? Anthony Barry knew before anyone probably as well that Thomas Tuchel was getting a job at, you know, at, at Bayern Munich. So Anthony Barry wanted to go. He gave the green light. That's why Thomas Tuchel comes into, you know, in the press conference and, and says it out publicly because they want to put the pressure on Chelsea Football Club. Do you know what I mean? Anthony Barry is contracted to Chelsea. And when, when Thomas Tuchel got Anthony Barry's green light, he wanted to say it publicly to put the pressure on Chelsea Football Club so they don't have to pay any compensation. So Bayern can actually make it look like Barry is the one who wants to leave. What compensation are you talking about? This isn't something that uh, a particular individual didn't know what was going on and we're trying to headhunt that particular person. Now give us compensation. For instance... Grand Potter with Brighton. Brighton didn't know that we were going after Grand Potter. We sacked Thomas Tuchel out of nowhere. Do you know what I mean? And, and Brighton wanted compensation at that time. And we had to pay $22 million world record fee for, for Grand Potter's services. So, look, I'd, let's not dilly-dally around. Let's get rid of Anthony Barry as quickly as possible. Thank you for his services, for everything he's done. He's done some really, really good stuff at Chelsea Football Club, especially when Thomas Tuchel was around. Uh, defensively, we were very strong, and we were scoring goals offensively as well through set pieces. So kudos, kudos. Now, Anthony Barry wants to go to you know Bayern Munich and, and give his services to Thomas Tuchel. Good luck to him. I'm told tonight that Barry is now set to join Bayern. Hopefully, this happens very, very soon. Here's some team news, ladies and gentlemen. No Sterling for Villa. No Wesley Fofana for Villa. I didn't even know that Wesley Fofana, there were some injuries happening. Like, when did this happen? When did this materialize? Mount back but won't start. So, we'll see him off the bench, potentially. And Pulisic doubtful. What happened to him? What happened to him post um international is he is he injured again it's mad it's mad we can't catch a break so no sterling no fofana all of this is going to hurt all of this will hurt this is the proper list no caesar spilicueta no what's going on with caesar spilicueta as well is he still injured from that kick to the face that's pretty mad but then again i wouldn't start as i'm just a bit uh baffled as to how long he's been away tiago silva obviously it's going to take a bit of time he did um have a, have a Heavy injury. Where's he for final? Reese James is back. He needs to start for me. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people might say, oh, can we risk him? Well, if we can't even risk him, can't even play him, what's what's going on? What's going on? Angelo Kante, maybe some minutes off the bench. Mason Mount, of course, off the bench, already mentioned by um, Grand Potter. Kai Havertz, he's recovered from his illness. Sterling is out. Pulisic is doubtful. When it's doubtful, uh, I don't think he's probably going to feature. Grand Potter has confirmed the Chelsea team uh, news to face Aston Villa. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Look, before we do the team selection, yeah, man, I'm worried. I'm worried about this particular fixture. The way we dropped points against Everton, then we ran away for the international break. We were in a bit of a momentum, really wanted that particular victory so that things could be positive. But the international break, it just, you know, further further demoralized a lot of us. Um, it would have been a good opportunity to get rid of Graham Potter during the international break. But like, I know, I know, we're not going to get rid of him. We're going to see this season through. We're going to give him all the opportunity to do uh, what he can do. Uh, and then we'll reassess the situation. Julian Nagelsmann in the wings, waiting. Um, let's see. Let's see what, what Graham Potter can deliver for us. I'm, I'm very, very concerned about this fixture. This Aston Villa team, they press well, man. They play good football. Oli Watkins up front. Boindia is playing well. Um, and they've got other really, really good players in and around them. Coutinho, I believe, either will start or come off the bench, whatever the case is. Very good player. 
McGinn in midfield, very good. Uh, Leon Bailey started to play some football under um, Una Emery. They're a very good team, man. Very, very good team. Um, and then since Una Emery has come on, um, you know, in place of Steven Gerrard being sacked, they've done play fairly okay. Obviously, they've lost matches, but they've lost matches to, um, you know, some really, really good teams as well. So, look, <sighs> I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping the lads give it all. I'm really, really hoping that the lads give it their all. Um or else it's going to be a long day or else it'll be that's life that's life for us okay let's get in on this um, match my team selection kepa i don't know if Mendy's back yet don't think he is um but kepa still gets an opportunity whereas if Havana's injured in the left side you know what i'm gonna have kukurea back man uh i need this guy's passing ability from the back in the middle koulibaly will continue On the right side, no Wesley Fafana. Calibre will get an opportunity. Reese James has to play for me. Reese James, I need this brother. I need this brother. If he is not fit, then I think we have a bigger, you know, issue with Reese James down the track. Like this guy is missing too much football in my liking, and we need to get to the bottom of his hamstring, muscle, all these other related injuries that he's having lately, we need to sort it out proper. Because next season, we cannot be missing this level of matches, man. It's mad. He's a key player for us. Not having him around is detrimental to the cause. Chilwell undoubtedly starts there. And the Fernandes. In the middle, along with Kovacic. Kovacic was flying in the international break. Got two goals. Um... Uh, in the international break, uh, which was fantastic. I think it was against Turkey as well. So, and continue with that combination. They've been doing well. That chemistry has been working. Joao Felix on the left side, up front, Havertz, because Aubameyang is more interested to play for Barcelona these days. And look, I don't even blame Aubameyang, to be honest. Um, he's been abolished from the team. What do you expect? Um, David Dutra for fun. I don't know what's going on with him. Amada Braille is still injured. And, um, yeah, there is no other options out there. So it's Havertz. And Havertz been doing all right for the past three matches. I know there's been some mad comments from him in recent times. But look, I'm not too bothered about it, if I'm being absolutely honest. On the right side, we have a problem. Sterling is not available. Christian Pulisic is doubtful. Who do you play? Who do you play? I mean, please, let it not be Conor Gallagher. I'm going with Ziyech. Ziyech actually had a very good international break with uh, Morocco. Played really well. Um, I'm going with Ziyech. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is my lineup. Kepa in the goalkeeping position. Kukuran, Kulibeli, Chalaba, Chilwell, Kovacic, Enzo Fernandez, Rhys, James, Ziyech, Felix Havertz, no Sterling, no Pulisic potentially to start. Makes a man off the bench and don't want him to be inside forward. Conor Gallagher definitely don't want him to be inside forward. Um, unless we want Medueka. Medueka has actually been all right. Um, there is Mudrik as well. Probably go with Madueke, you know. He's been okay. He's been okay. Woodrick can come off the bench um, and then keep just getting those minutes under the belt um, and slowly but surely pick up that match fitness. Ziyech, yeah, look, there is no future, so I don't want to start him. I'd start Madueke, to be honest, have it up front. So this is my lineup, ladies and gentlemen. Look, it's a strong lineup. We should be winning. But What's, what's Graham Potter going to do? 61st minute, bring in Conor Gallagher. As soon as we go on a one year lead, he's going to try and shut up shop. That's what's going to happen. None of this. I need Graham Potter, ladies and gentlemen, to, to have good impact, man. I need him to give us solid impact. I need him to have a blinder of a match. Sometimes I see Graham Potter ruining the match for us. So, that's just, yeah, man, that's life. That's life, man. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know. Look, I'm thinking maybe it's a draw, man. Uh, it's got a 1-1 one, one written all over it. Let me know your thoughts about the team. Let me know your thoughts about the score prediction. What would you do? Would you start Mudrik? Would you start Medueke? This, that, the other. Let me know in the comment section. Until next time, everyone.
Take care and see and see you all in the watch along. Bye.